Hey, you. Yeah, you. You. Right there. Now we are back, my friend, and look at this, my friends. Look at this shit. Do you see that? Shattered Bloodline. The new patch finally came out. I think it came out for everybody on um, PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, I think, at the same time. That's what they said. They might lie to me. I don't know. But, um, yeah, yeah. We are back. You guys already know we have to go over the patch notes. <sighs> now, if I, I might miss a couple things because... If it doesn't seem that that important, I'm gonna skip it. But I think that I'd, maybe if I can find the whole like the full patch notes, I might put it down in the description so you guys can check that for yourselves. Maybe the link to their website or something like that. Maybe they have this somewhere. I'll find it. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go over patch notes, my friends. Let us go. Alrighty, my friends. As you guys know, in the Shattered Bloodline patch, there is a new killer, my friend. I think her name. I don't know her name. It's like we're gonna call her Yamoka, but it's like Yam Yamauka or something, something like that. I'm not Japanese, so I do not know. Anyways, my friends, I think her name is The Spirit, her nickname is The Spirit, and we're going to be playing her today. So, I'm not going to talk too much about her, but you guys know what you guys are in store for. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go over the, like, the little things. They added a, um, added a new status effect for survivors broken. So broken survivors are afflicted with the broken status effect, may not be healed past the injured health state for a duration, similar to no mither effect. The status is shown to other players on the character portraits in the, uh, the HUD, so other players can see you in your broken status effect. Um, the broken status effect is applied to survivors when they successfully use deliverance to un unhook themselves, so that's the new um, survivor perk. I'm not going to go over too many survivor things unless it's like super drastic, but... Yeah, the new su the new survivor that came out has three new person. One of them is uh, you can unhook yourself for free or something like that. But you go into the broken state and you can't heal for a certain amount of time, pretty much. So that is that, my friends. Alrighty, my friends. Now to the bounce. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go over too many survivor things. Like I said, I just wanted to go over that new status effect. That's pretty big and new. So that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, links in the description if you guys want to see the whole patch notes. But uh, yeah, yeah. Onto the bounce, my friends. Killers with the 4.4 movement speed. The Hags and Huntress now lunge at the same speed as other killers. That is big. That is actually really fucking big. So now they have uh, the normal lunge as a normal killer. If I read that correctly, that's what that means. That's fucking huge. That's going to make the Huntress and the Hag even, even better. They're not good. I mean, the Huntress isn't that good, I think. The Hag is extremely good. That's going to make the Hag better. I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be bo better for both of them. But I'm really glad they did that change because that was so fucking annoying when I played the Hag. And you guys, I don't know if you guys saw that shit. I have a couple hag videos up. I think this was uh, before this patch came out. Literally, I was in front of their fucking face. And I had my little stump arm. And it fucking just missed completely. I don't know. I'm glad they did that though. So we, I think the tomorrow I'm going to make two videos. I, it's because the Wraith got a buff. Ooh, I can't spoil shit. Anyways, we will get to that, my friends. Adjusted and shortened all killer interrupt animations. So what does that mean? Adjusted and shortened. So maybe... Oh, okay, so when um, somebody, I guess, is leaping over the... When they're hit, when they're one-shot, and they leap over a wand, you do the animation to grab them or over the pallet or the window. I think that makes it shorter. Because you would fucking throw them down wait, like, three seconds for no fucking reason. Look up on, look at them on the ground. You can literally make a fucking sandwich. Look at them on the ground, and then you pick them up, and it takes another three seconds. So, glad they shorten that. What I think they should do... No, never mind. I'm not gonna... That'd be stupid. Never mind, my friends. Anyways, on to the next one. Another big deal that I think is not game changing, but it can like it can be be used really fucking well is the uh, the unhook changes. The un unhook animation can be canceled if the survivor moves away before completing the charge interaction. So that means if some somebody can fakey fake an unhook and set them for some cool shit. I don't know, I don't know how that's gonna play out. I'm excited to see that shit because that's that's more variety for the survivors and gives them more options. Because right now it's like oh. If I'm going to unhook you, that means I'm going to take a hit, but I can fake you fake an unhook and go to a pallet. It's very interesting, my friends. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, what else? The animation for freeing on cell from the hook has been reduced from 2.4 to 1.2 seconds. That's pretty good. So, for survivors at least, it takes less time to try to free yourself. Wait, wait, wait. The animation for freeing... Also, if you free yourself, the animation is set at 2.4 seconds, 1.2 seconds. That's sick. That's pretty cool. I mean, not for me. For the survivors, that's gonna piss me off, but that is okay. Um, what else? Players are, who are unhooked or are freeing themselves from the hook will not take damage from the killer attacks if they hit before they regain control of their character. So, wow, that's actually really fun. I'm glad they did that because that was getting really fucking cheap. Where somebody would unhook themselves or get off the hook and they can just insta down when they're not even fully on the ground and full control of their character. So I think that's really good for survivors. That's a change, though. That's a really good fucking change. 
Another change that I think is fucking huge is the pallet changes. Adjusted the animations for survivors throwing down a pallet while stationary. The pallet will be dropped more quickly. So this is this is leaving me a little confused on how this is gonna work. I played like two games and I was still able to get like some sometimes some hat like 50-50 pallet challenges or whatever contention uh, contention. Yeah, I don't know. You guys know what I mean. Um I don't like this change because the survivors already have such an advantage already that it's putting the killer in an even an even more disadvantage. Which I mean I don't know, we'll see how this plays out. I mean, when I see this on paper, it's just, it's like, hey, you get a free, you get a free pallet, congratulations, so, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. So far, I've been, it's been a little iffy, but I've still been able to get 50-50 yeah, challenges on pallets, so, I, we, we kind of have to play more and see how that works out, but, um, what else? Alrighty, now, these changes are fucking huge. I don't think I want to talk about them, like, a lot. I mean, this is going to take me way too fucking long to explain everything, but the map changes. Various buildings were adjusted to minimize the effect of long chase windows on main building tiles. Which is huge! Extremely huge! That means infinite loops are kind of no more, my friend. Kind of. I'm not sure. But this is huge. Um, I think uh, in the patch notes it shows every single map of what they did. So if you guys want to go to the patch notes or just pause the video or whatever and see this, Go for it, my friends, but I don't think I'm going to explain it here. But I did read over it, and it's, this is huge. This is a really big change and a really nice change for killers and survivors. Alrighty, my friends, on to the next one. Now, another... This this change leaves me a little questionable why they did this. But I can, I can kind of understand that, like, higher ranks... I like rank 15, rank 10, something like that. Bloodlust 2 speed bonus, or blah, blah, blah. blood Bloodlust 2 speed bonus reduced from uh, 0 0.6 to 0 0.4, which is, I don't understand why, but, you know, it's whatever, their game, they do whatever the fuck they want. Bloodlust 3 speed bonus reduced from 1.2 to 0 0.6. I think that change, that's a good change. Bloodlust 3 was a little too fast, I think, but I think that 0 0.6 is a little too low, if they put like 0 0.8, and then maybe put Bloodlust 2 to 0 0.5, or... I don't know. I Bloodlust is like, meh. I can understand Bloodlust 3 nerf. I don't understand the Bloodlust 2 nerf. If they if they could have kept it at 0 0.6 and then put it to 0 0.8, that would have been a decent nerf overall. Another change I want to really talk about. The trap buffering has been reintroduced. A bear trap that is being disarmed will not trap survivors who run over it. Which is... That's fucking huge. And survive with friends, that is huge. So somebody could be trying to disarm the trap and somebody could just run past them. But, my friends, disarm bear trap time increased from 2.5 to 3.5 seconds. That, yo, that is a long fucking time. An extremely long time. I don't know how this is going to affect the trapper. I think tomorrow I'm going to make a wraith and trapper video just to see how, how they are. But that is, a, that's huge. I feel like that's going to be such a big change. Oh, 3.5 seconds? Yeesh. There's a lot of shit which you, you can do with that. I'm, I'm already thinking about it. Alright, my friends, now to the race changes. This is what I want to talk about, my friends. Movement speed while on, cloak, uh, blah, blah. Movement speed while on cloaking has been adjusted. We're going to get to that in a second. The uncloak exit animation, with la which lasts 0 0.3 seconds after finishing uncloaking, can be now cancelled by attacking and interact interacting with objects. So I think that means when you um, fully uncloak and there's that little pause when you uncloak, you can now cancel that with a hit or interacting with an object. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay, my friends, here's the big thing. After successfully uncloaking, the Wraith gains a burst of speed for one second, similar to the effect from the Windstorm wind add-ons, which gives you a burst, uh, burst of speed when you uncloak. That was an add-on. Um, so now it's not an add-on, and you have a burst of speed in Vanilla Wraith, which is the stock character, the stock with no add-ons, Wraith. Um, these add-ons have been redesigned, so I'm not going to go over all the add-ons that have been redesigned, but you guys can see it in the patch notes, or just pause the video or whatever, I'll probably go down a little bit more. But, wait, let me go down a little bit more, yeah. Right there, that's good. So if you guys want to pause the video, look at all the add-on changes, or just go in-game and see for yourself, I'd go check that out. But, um, time required to burn the Wraith out of Cloak while with a flashlight increased from 1.5 seconds to 2 seconds, which... That's a pretty good change. I like that change. I mean, it helps him out a little bit, but like, it's not nothing drastic. I don't know why the fuck he even gets burnt. 
when he's getting shot by a flashlight. But, you know, that's besides the point. That makes him fucking... That's pretty bad. Anyways, my friends, the blind warrior add-ons with previously granted further light burn protection had been redesigned? That's interesting. I'm not sure how these add-ons are going to go, but... My friends, we will see tomorrow when we play him. So, if you guys want to pause the video, check the thing. It's right there. Go for it. Another change, which is... A, I'm glad they did this. They readjusted the nurse inter uh, interruption animation. So, you know when you're trying to blink and you like try to do like consistent like consistent blinks like multiple blinks at the same time and you're like she fucking spazzes all over the place with her arm it's very weird my friend i think everybody knows what the fuck i'm talking about they finally fixed that which is so good so good especially with timing i'm so glad that that was a change that needed to be fixed i'm i'm so glad they fixed that shit all right guys but that's it for the passion list my friends like I said, if you guys want to see the full patch notes, there's so many fucking bug fixes, I couldn't, I wouldn't have enough time to go over every single one of them. Links in the description, go check that out, but um, yeah, 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 my friends, it is time. It is time to get to the killer, and the perks, and the flesh. I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna get into the perks. Alrighty, my friends, now this is what's rocking. Oh, wow, you, do you see this chick? She's fucking crazy. She looks so fucking oh okay. She looks so fucking cool. I love the design of this fucking character. Ah. Anyways, my friends, she's fucking sick. Okay, yo, 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 chill. All right, I'm sorry. I, I uh, can I go over your perks? Do you mind if I go? You look confused. Why the fuck are you confused? Can I? Okay, I can go over your perks. Okay, thank you. Anyways, my friends, on to the perks. Uh, dude, I can't help it. She looks so fucking sick. This is the. Creepiest design I've ever seen on Dead by Dale. I love this fucking design. Anyways, perks. Yes, she has three teachable, teachable perks. And my friends, we're going to go over it while we go over our perks. So my friends, our first perk: Rancor. You become obsessed with one survivor. Each time the generator is complete, the obsession sees your aura for four seconds. Each time a generator is completed, though, all survivors' locations are revealed to you for three seconds. Once all generators are completed, the obsession has the exposed status effect, and the killer can kill the obsession. I like this perk a lot, my friends, because it's pretty much like Bitter Murmur, but without the aura. Why are you sad? Ah! Whatever, my friend. This is- I- I really love this fucking- this is the perk I've been using a lot, my friends, actually. I- cause- mainly because I don't have any fucking perks for her. We spent at least a million blood points on her, and we still don't have decent perks, so that's okay. Anyways, my friends, Hex Rune, you guys already know what that does. We only have the- the green version one of it. We have, what, only two survivors are affected, so... I might change this to something else, but maybe not. I do not know. Anyways, my friends, on to the next perk. Hex, Haunted Ground. Uh, two trapped hex totems will spawn in the trial. When one of the two trapped hex totems is cleansed by a survivor, all survivors have suffered the exposed status effect for 40 seconds. I can imagine if this perk has like a green or a purple version, what the f how long this is gonna last. Literally. This is a good perk. It's not... Mm. This could be used really well at a high level. Especially, you can maybe combine it with multiple, like different hexes hex totems this should be so fucking cool to use because then the survivors will keep on going to each hex to see which one's hex ruined so that my friend could be used for some scary ass shit and if you have um what is that one perk where you can see uh if somebody's working on a hex totem this would be perfect for that extremely fucking good not this perk goes well with other perks not by itself anyways my friends spirit fury each pallet you break magnifies the wrath of the entity. After breaking three pallets, the next time you are stunned by a pallet, the entity will instantly break the pallet. You still suffer from the stun effect penalty. So, if I break three pallets and I get stunned by a pallet, that pallet instantly breaks, but I, I suffer the, uh, the stun. So, it saves me like two seconds. I don't really like this perk that much because it doesn't really work well with the spirit because her ability, which you guys will see in-game, which is fucking sick. But... Her ability is more mind gaming more than, hey, drop a pallet on me and I'm gonna chase you for another 15 fucking minutes. And yeah, yeah. But, my friends, if you guys didn't know, she has a slower, she has like, I think the hag and the hunter's moving speed. I think, I think maybe a little higher. I'm not sure, but compared to like the clown, the trapper, she's pretty, she's pretty slow. I'm not sure how fast she is, but, uh, we'll find out soon, I guess. Anyways, my friend, on to the add ons. Dirty, what the fuck? Dirty Yuwabaki. 
Yes, my friend. Considerably increases uh, the spirit's haunting movements. Yeah, I don't want to say her name wrong and sound like a fucking retard. But considerably increases uh, Yamoka's... We're going to call her Yamoka. We already said this. Haunting movement speed. So, her ability is where... How do I explain her ability? So, my friends, while I'm here, I might as well fucking explain this to you guys on what her ability is. Uh, pff, this is going to be fucking hard, man. Her ability is... It's, uh, it's like a... It's like a she goes into this state where she stands still and she goes into like a dream world state where the survivors can't see her but she can move freely for like four or five seconds with a movement speed buff to a certain for a certain duration so like she when she activates her ability she goes in the state and then she goes invis for the survivors so she's like in a dream world but she can't see the survivors she can only see the scratch scratch marks so and she can hear but and you can see where she's going with the grass and all that good stuff so it's like it's like Freddy, but only for a certain amount of time. So you can still see where she's going. And, and this is really difficult to fuck this, but you guys are probably confused. When we get in the match, you guys want to understand what I'm trying to say. Anyways, God, I am terrible at explaining things, aren't I? Anyways, my friend, on to the next add-on. Rusty Flute considerably increases Yamoka's hunting power. Recovery speed. This is extremely good because her recovery speed from going into that state I was talking about is extremely long. Extremely long. Now, my friends, I have a lot of, um, a lot of add-ons, so I think tomorrow we're going to play around with her a little bit more, but right now we do not fully understand the character, but I have a good general idea of what we're going to do with her. Um, and I played a couple games in the, uh, Macmillan Estate in, like, the Crotus Prentice Asylum. Dude, she is so good in the Macmillan maps. So good. The Cold One farm map, she's decent, but where she really excels is like smaller maps, like the Jigsaw map, extremely good. The Meat, meat, meat Plant, or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, and the Macmillan Estates are the two best maps I've seen so far. Anyways, my friends. You guys know what time it is. I run my mouth a little too long, yeah? I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna get into the match. Family residence, Yamoka Estate. Now, my friends, the servers have been really acting up, and I had to fucking get at least three different matches. That have been really laggy, but hopefully this one is not laggy. I am praying to the Dead by Daylight Elder Gods. We must move and get our flesh. Heard somebody. Chris Ward has heard somebody. It is okay, my friends. We will get all flesh and get the flesh that we need. What was I gonna say? I don't remember. Oh, I was gonna explain the uh, the phase walk thing. So the phase walk thing is like the Freddy thing where you invis and they can't see where you are. So you can teleport literally right in front of somebody and scare the fucking shit out of them. Flesh. Oh, you got the exposed status effect. You're fucked. That trap thing is so good if used fucking right, dude. That that was perfect timing. Actually, perfect fucking timing. And we have two of them, I think. Get on my old flesh. No time for games! No time for brains! I know brains are pretty okay, I like brains. Ah! Okay, my friend, I understand you yell. Please, chill. I wonder if somebody's over here. We got like 10 seconds left with this thing. Can we sneaky sneak? No. Flesh? No flesh. Maybe? Fuck. We had like 2 seconds with this thing too, damn, that sucks. Then she fucking ran across the fucking thing. Where's my flesh? Where's my flesh? Oh, hello, flesh. I don't want to tunnel you, but... Is she behind me? No, I thought she was. I know she's right behind me, but let's see if we can do a sneaky sneak. Hey, flesh. You're confused. Did I confuse you? I like doing that to people. It's very interesting. Maybe you should, um, run away instead of healing, flesh. You'll learn one of these days. I promise. Yeah, we're at a really good fucking start right now. Really good, my friends. Where did this chick go? She had a flashlight. Yeah. I'm interested. I like people with flashlights. You already know how much I love people with flashlights. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Nah. I thought maybe she was in there. Oh, they found Hex. They found my room. It is okay. Mm. I could have swore I heard her. Oh, so they're all over here. Interesting, my friends. Interesting. That perk is so fucking good for that. It gives me so much, uh, so much information. 
good information. Not bad information. What the fuck? Where was this chick? Hello? Alright, Flesh. We could do this once. We could do it twice. Maybe we can do it three times. Where's my flesh? Dude, literally, I'm giving you time to run! And you keep on running into me! That's not my fault. You killed yourself. Look at my friend. Look at. Accept your fate and die. I feel bad for this chick, but like, dude. If she would have took a ooh flesh, more flesh. If she, if the flesh chick would have took a hit for uh, this chick, I would have chased her instead. But you know, they they want to say fuck their teammates, so that's okay. I know she's over there. Should we chase or should we go over there? I think we should be patient. Do we have another room? I think we only have one uh, hex totem. Oh, I saw somebody. Flesh, I know you see me. Flesh. How you doing? You doing great. Oh shit, I got a confused them. Okay, I'm done. WHERE ARE YOU GOING?! Oh fuck. There's more flesh. Um, she in the house? I know there's a bunch of windows in here. What the fuck? Where am I going? Oh, she has um that perk to where when she jumps over an obstacle, I can't see her uh, scratch marks. That's very coincidental that I'm playing this chick and she has that perk on, right? Eh. Very coincidental. I don't know. Is that me or is that you? I don't know. Another shot? No. I kind of figured they're doing the outer gents. Yeah, they're both doing the outer gents. It's okay, my friends. If they get that gen, we'll be in a good spot. Where'd this chick go? I'm worried about this chick. I don't know where the fuck she went. Oh, there's that her right there. I just saw her. Yep. How you doing? You think I don't have eyes? My eyes are amazing. Ooh, I might be able to kill her. I'm gonna slug her since she's my um since she's decisive. I will slug her. You're doing good. You're doing great. I'm gonna slug her since I have that perk, so if we make it to late game, I won't have to worry about that. So I'd be able to just kill her instantly. Wait, small flesh. No, I'm working on that, Joe. Hmm. They're around here somewhere. My flesh is around here somewhere. Just in a way. What are you doing? Hey, did you see me? Oh, I could've hit her right there. Oh, no. oh what the fuck? Can I do a loop to loop and pull? Wow. Who just drops it like that? Hello? Hello, my friend. Where are you going? I see you. I can see you through the tall grass. I can see that small ass. That rhymes. Mm. Mm. Let's put her on this one. I don't want to put her on that one. Should we go for. Oh, Decisive's up. What the fuck? Did she heal Decisive? Let's look for Decisive. This map, I need to get, I need to know this map a little bit better. Play this map a little bit more to get a little bit better. I love this chick so much though. She's so much fun to play. They've actually made a killer that's extremely fun to fucking play. It's insane. Wow. You guys are thirsty for saving your teammates. Interesting. Interesting, 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 my friend. But here in the flesh, you don't survive the flesh. They're probably all the way back there in the top left corner. And this guy's doing chance, so... Uh, we already know one of them is going to escape. Hmm. Did I just hear somebody? Nurse's calling would be so good right now with her. I wonder if you can see the ore when you're in this. That'd be sick. Oh, scratch marks. I see dirty scratch marks. Who are you running to the gold pallet? I think they're at the gold pallet. Hey, how you doing? Remember me? I remember you perfectly. Oh, she didn't go for the god palace. She's gonna die. Oh, you're dead. You're dead flesh, you're dead flesh. Unless she makes that window. Yeah, she made that window. That's toxic. Cancer. Why is she so fast? Hmm. I predicted? Oh, I predicted perfectly! You're interesting. And, and there's a hook right there just for you, flesh, and metal and everything. Oh, metal everything. We don't get that cheap ass wooden shit. Oh, you don't have decisive? Free hook. Where's this chick though? Where's the flashlight chick? Cause I know she's still around here somewhere. She jumped over and she went this way. Let's check this one. Where's small flesh? Where's small flesh? Where's small flesh? I thought she was near me. Where's this guy? This guy's just doing gens, dude. He doesn't give a fuck about his teammates. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Think they're in the inside gen? I know this chick's gonna go for this chick, so 
If I can get this guy doing the auto gens, then they will have nobody to do gens and they're just going to keep on saving each other. Unless this guy's hiding. Where is this guy? Is this guy looking for gens or he's just gonna hide? He's on this gen, kinda figured. Hey, how you doing? You doing good? Great. I don't care how you doing. Sprint first? No sprint first. Ah! You don't get that. Ah! Come on, games. How does she know? Oh, you didn't know! You did! I'm so lost. They like, they stay inside. They don't even try to go uh, do the thing. Very weird, my friend. They watch too much fucking True Talent videos, I think. What are going to have to come up with a different strategy? Oh, my whole flesh. My, my fucking question, my fuck. It's loud. My fucking question is, where are these guys? Because this guy's been hiding the whole fucking game. Where is he? I don't know where he is. I'm a demon. Can't fucking see shit. All right, where are we going? Hmm. Oh, hello. What the fuck? Where'd you go? Oh. Your green jacket confuses me with the terrain. Very good. You're like a plant. You look like a- Wait a second. You're from that one video. Give me your jacket. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I want a jacket. I want a jacket now. Your jacket, please, please. You didn't give. Me, I got. I got your jacket the other day. You bought a new one. That's great. But I want it. Who did I play my last video when I saw her? Where the fuck? Did, oh God, dude, look how hard it is to see her. Hello. No. You just got clotheslined by a sword. That's impressive. Dude, I can't even fucking see her with this plant shit. Did she pick this one? Oh. No gems for you. Oh. Somebody fucked up a gen, huh? Oh. Let's get our flesh. A nice fat juicy flesh. Mm. So they're on this gen, right? You think they'd go this way? No, they probably go around to the left. They're not working on that gen anymore. Hmm. They're probably going for this chick already. I miss them. Oh, load up, load up, load up, load up. Are they even trying to go for this chick? Yeah, they did. Oh, baby. How you doing? You doing good, plant bitch. I like your jacket, but you look like a plant. And I don't like plants because I'm a demon. Get up. I do not have time for the jokes. No jokes allowed. No funny business, nothing like that. They really don't fucking like saving their teammates. Ooh. Blame your teammates for that death. That's not my fault. Oh. Now we gotta fight. Decides to flesh? Wait, if she's the last one standing, can I kill her with this perk? Oh, they're on the shun. They saw me too, so they're probably gonna run. Hello. Mind games. I think she, I'm pretty sure she saw me, so she thought like, I'm going to stand still. Nah, bitch. Hi, bitch. Bye, bitch. I'm gonna go here. Wow. There's a window there, and there's a wait a second. I don't know if I want to go for you. I don't know what a saucer flesh is. If you're one shot, this is a big mistake, my friend. Big mistake. Okay. I guess, my friend, but that is okay. If I can find a saucer, this would be great. Yeah, she's good. Not a bad game. Not a bad game at all. Ruthless killer. I need to get better with this chick. I'm not really that well, that good with her. 6k, 4k, 6k. 5k, eh. We need to get back to rank 1, my friends. Oh, we're almost 2 pit for the match. If we would've killed her, we would've 2 pit. We need to get back to rank 1, my friends. And get better with this chick. If we can master this chick... Because I already fucking love her. We did... Oh my god. Imagine what we could do with her. The different fucking perk setups. Oh, ooh, I need agitation to save the best for last so bad right now. Anyways, my friend. Let's see what they were rocking. Uh, Live. Self-care. Adrenaline. Will, nothing out of the ordinary, same thing, urban evasion, bond, self-care. Who was the chick that was, so nobody was using uh, this thing? This team? Premonition. I barely see that perk. Impressive. Wait, did she, is she the one that DC'd? Yeah, she's the one that DC'd. You deserve death, my friend. And they had the birthday cake. You had two birthday cakes? And you didn't even want to give me a piece? I'm a demon, so I don't, I don't really eat that shit anyway, so. That was a pretty decent game, not going to lie. 
Alrighty guys, well that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys like this video, please punch a kick and bop the like button. Don't forget to sub and hit that notification button to get notified when I upload. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, my friends, I promise you, we will be better with this chick. I'm probably gonna make a race and another, um, the spirit video. I, her name's the spirit, yeah, the spirit. Another one of those. Hopefully we'll be better with her. I need to play a little bit more to get a, a better feel of her, you know, and try different perks with her. Um, but the new perks, I'm not really a big fan of. The only big, the only big perk I'm like a fan of, probably the hex one. I don't really like the other one that much. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.